licensed professionals to let you come out and blow up their hand grenades is not cheap and as of late certain video hosting sites are not the best at supporting their firearms channels. I'm not naming any names though. Fortunately though we have some great sponsors who are the best at supporting their firearms channels and this episode is sponsored by NordVPN. NordVPN provides secure access to a remote computer over the internet through encryption. It's used to protect against hackers, to get around certain filters, and a number of other important things. For instance, certain sites are not allowed in certain countries. When I was in Dominican Republic, I realized that I could not stream music from Pandora because I was in Dominican Republic. But if I use NordVPN, I could remote into a server in the US and then I can listen to all the music that I want. This probably hits close to home for a lot of you international viewers. In the EU, they just passed Article 13, which will hold websites responsible for the content that's on them, which will probably make these websites be a lot more restrictive on the content that they have, which means that it actually could be hard for you to watch Demolition Ranch in certain places if it gets bad enough. Or you could just not deal with all that, use NordVPN, and you can remote in to a US-based server or another country that allows Demolition Ranch Booyah! And then you can watch all the demo ranch that you want. Nord has thousands of servers in over 61 countries and they have iOS and Android apps to secure your mobile browsing session. So go to nordvpn.com slash demo ranch. You will get 75% off a three year plan, which comes out to a subscription of $2.99 per month. And if you'd like to get an extra month for free, use code demo ranch. Again, nordvpn.com slash demo ranch. They help support the channel so that we can blow up hand grenades. You guys wanna go do that? Don't put them in your microwave in your kitchen. Just a word of advice. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I am joined by Sean. Sean knows a lot about explosives and that's what we have here today, right? We do. What do you got first? Well, we got all kinds of party favors. We're gonna start off here with a thermite incendiary grenade. I've actually <laughs> been wondering forever and you guys have been commenting forever, what would happen if you put a grenade in a microwave? So we have a microwave out on the range today and we are going to put these grenades in a microwave. We called Sean and asked him if we could do this and he was like, this is the weirdest thing ever, but yeah. but yeah, I'm in. So this is our incendiary grenade. This is one of the old rotary dial microwaves. So we're gonna, it's already on. We're gonna close the door, but there's no power running to it. We have a generator behind that hill over there. We will go over there, plug it in, and this thing will turn on as soon as it's plugged in when we are safely behind cover. So we're gonna get far away, let the GoPros film it, and see what happens with an incendiary grenade in a microwave. Walking back now, got GoPro set up close. We are going to power the microwave and see, finally see, if a hand grenade will go off inside a microwave. This is the boring part about microwave videos. You just sit and wait. We let it run for about 15 minutes, did nothing. So we cut the power and we let it cool down for a long time. So now we're walking up. We're gonna go take it easy, see what happened. But looks like nothing happened. There's our thermite incendiary grenade. Were these burns on it before? No. So it, it, it sort of did something, but not much. Yeah. Not enough to set anything off. Which thermite, you have to get it super hot for it to go off. Yeah, this right here is what you use oftentimes like police for riot control and whatnot. You always see it, hey everyone, get the protesters and whatnot, the go away hippie, go away <laughs> kind of thing for it. So normally you pull the pin and throw it out there and it'll give you about 30 seconds or so of um, cloud of CS gas, which is tear gas. Yeah, fun stuff. So we can try that next. See what happens in a microwave. Did nothing, totally nothing. Sat there for 10 minutes in the microwave. Nothing happened. We got more stuff up our sleeve though. All right, Sean, what do you got now? All right, so we've tried the thermite grenade, didn't go off, which was kind of disappointing. I was hoping that one would. <laughs> we also tried the CS tear gas grenade, that one didn't go off. So next we're gonna try what's a multi-bang flash bang. These right here Love run it. off of flash powder. Uh, so hopefully what happens is it gets hot enough for it to go off because flash powder is just extremely sensitive for it. I expect it to destroy the microwave. It's got a pretty powerful bang to it. It's not gonna be a catastrophic explosion like you'd get with some of the high explosives we're gonna set off later on, um, but it still should be pretty interesting and make a nice thump. Okay, now we plug her in and hopefully something happens this time. We were 
were starting to lose hope that something was actually going to happen here. Like we've had two so far that hadn't done anything and then this one waited about five minutes before it finally blew. But it definitely looks like it exploded our microwave in a million pieces. It is like gone. Yeah. Here is, what is this? Door. Yeah, that's the door. It's a piece of the door. There's, there's some more of it. We're still pretty far away. It's smoking still. Yeah, that's the shell of the microwave on top of the box. It wow. blew out the front and the back. Here is the microwave totally gone. So the side of it is over there. The door was over there and the back of it's way over there. But yeah, the microwave totally smashed, totally <laughs> broken apart. <laughs> Mayor's gonna be pissed at me when she hears what I did to our microwave. Uh, but don't worry, we have more microwaves and we have more grenades. This right here is a sting ball grenade. What it's designed, it's kind of like a, a flashbang, but what it does, it has a bunch of little rubber balls in there, so it's used so a lot of So it's a less times. than lethal kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and it's designed for typically like corrections use for, hey, you got a prison riot, throw it out there, get people to um, change their ways and become model citizens. <laughs> also for like riot control in like an urban it. environment. You also use it sometimes, like SWAT teams will use it for an entry to throw it in there and um, like a flashbang with a little bit of an extra bonus on it. Nothing happened with the sting ball grenade. We let it cool down for a while, just came and opened it. Totally surprised by that. But Same. Yeah. So we'll have to uh, amp it up, get something bigger. Yeah. Get, this microwave has been alive for way too long. Bigger and better. Yeah, we can't let this microwave just get away with this. Okay, you got C4 now. This right here is about a pound and a half of data sheet. Plastic explosives, you can burn it, you can throw it, you can run over it, shoot it, do whatever. It doesn't go off unless you hit it with enough energy from like a blasting cap. So you're thinking so, there's no way this is gonna no. do anything. <laughs> it looks awesome. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's always funny right. when people actually handle it. It's like, it's like Play-Doh and it's like, yeah, that's what it is. It's Play -Doh. just like Play-Doh. They would Play -Doh. blow a wall off a house. Very angry Play-Doh. Okay, just getting back to it after it's just it melted. It's like Chernobyl did or something. <laughs> it definitely just melted it. Yeah. But totally looks the same, probably would still explode. With, yeah, oh yeah, with it's a definitely gonna go cap. boom. So you can safely put your C4 in the microwave in your kitchen without any fears. So this is a frag grenade. Yep, live, fully functional. This is like your classic grenade. When you think of a grenade, this is what you think of. Yeah, this right here is, you know, hey, take it, pull the pin, throw the grenade Chunk kind of it. thing for it. So And this is a metal body. Yep, metal so, body with a fuse. Yeah, for it. I think and it'll go off. I'm gonna bet that it doesn't. Dang it, I want, I want this one to go off I know, so I, bad. I, I want it to go off too, but kind of like with a the thermite grenade, yeah. it's got so much metal on there that's gonna protect the explosives on there, in, on the inside, Right. it won't work. So, but I'm sure we will eventually be able to allow it to meet its, meet its fate. Perfect, perfect. So a little bit worried that the C4 is still in here. It won't allow this thing to spin. Plus I'm worried that it'll absorb some heat. So we're gonna actually not do the frag grenade next. We're gonna do this stuff which is the same as dynamite. They don't call it dynamite, but it's a nitroglycerin based one. If you pound and a half sticks, 0.46 if you want to be exact. So we're gonna put about a pound and a half of dynamite in there. On top of a go along with the C4. pound and a half of C4. How do you normally set that off, with a fuse? With a blasting cap. Blasting so, cap, yeah, okay, you gotcha. You can put a fuse into it and it may or may not go off, but you really need to hit it hard. Gotcha. Explosives are supposed to be hard to set off. Fairly safe, yeah. yeah. Not like in the old West movies where, you know, the thing's gonna magically blow up. It shakes you, too much. Yeah, exactly. This, <laughs> the modern stuff's extremely safe. And um, for if you were to let it sit around for 50 years, maybe it would sit there and become dangerous. Yeah. But it's not something where it's just gonna magically explode on cool. you. Cool, all right, so, let's do it. Let's do this. We're gonna get back behind cover. We do have fire. Something is on fire down there. No explosion that I've heard, but that fire is, it's going. No clue what happened. We're over here close to the, uh, <laughs> the microwave. It's still on fire. And the flames were coming out of that, they were pretty big. So I think something besides just microwave was burning, but it doesn't make any sense because any fire that should have touched that should have ignited it and like the dynamite should have gone up. So, to take care of this problem, we don't want to go in and look, it's not safe. So we're actually just going to put a secondary charge, a high explosive charge on there, and just send it and be done with that mess. The C4, the dynamite, and it'll all be gone. 
we are going to go ahead and uh, detonate this. So I'm gonna charge it here. Three, two, one, fire! Dang. It launched the microwave way over there. Yeah. <laughs> We're walking up to the site and I think our microwave is just gone. And I thought I could see it flying that direction. Yeah, I think it blew it off into the brush or something. Yeah, but I mean it's totally gone. There's a piece of the microwave right there. That might be a piece over there. This is where it was, huh? Yeah. That's where the dynamo was sitting, the microwave was like right over here. So it just went poosh, fired it that oh, direction. Oh, I see it. I believe you got it. Yeah, I think it's gone. That's a confirmed kill. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, that is how you dispose of some explosives that you're not sure what happened with them. You just put other explosives on top of them. So now we're gonna do the frag grenade. I know nothing about what's in it, but yeah. I'm just voting that it's gonna go off. Yeah, so. It's a metal grenade in a microwave. That's, yeah, I, it's gotta go. We'll see. Let's see, turn this thing up. What do you want to put it on about right there? And that's it high. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. We, of course, are going to get back behind cover. Start the timer. We're just waiting now. And I really want this frag grenade to explode. Like, I just want it to go boom. We're way off just sitting here in the distance watching to hopefully see a frag grenade explode. But he doesn't think it's going to. And he probably knows better than I do about it. I just thought, I just always thought if you put a hand grenade in a microwave, it would definitely explode. But I mean, that's why we're here. That's why you guys want to know. That's why I want to find out for you. That's what we're doing here on Demolition Ranch today is solving those mysteries that the world has wanted to know forever. So the frag grenade did nothing. No, it did nothing. Sat in there for it. It went off. We cooked it for about 15 minutes <sighs> and didn't Still's really do much scared. of anything. Yeah. Next up, we're going to try some TNT. This right here is called a <laughs> TNT booster charge. Hopefully this one right here goes off. We finally get some real explosives to yes, blow up. Yes, we need long, something. It's been a long, very hot day. Yeah, very you guys are seeing this all chopped yeah. up. We are having to put something in there, cook it for 15 minutes, turn it off, let it sit for 15 minutes, exactly. and then walk up and then figure out what we're gonna do now. Hopefully this one works. We're backing up now. There's TNT and a frag grenade in the microwave and nothing went off. So uh, we waited, let it cool down for a while. We gave up and uh, nothing happens. So now we have to do another controlled detonation on that thing, blow them up, and uh, I mean, overall we've pretty much answered that microwaves are not very good at setting off grenades. So if you're thinking about putting a grenade in your microwave, tell your mom, it's totally safe, mom. Trust me, I watch Demolition Ranch. No dice. Yeah, unfortunately the grenade and the TNT failed to go off. We don't, <laughs> like, we really don't know what's going on inside of there with the chemicals and whatnot, so we're not going to pick it up because it could have had an extremely high increase in sensitivity. What we got right here is a section of a rigid linear shaped charge. It's crazy. And this right here has a copper coating on it with a little bit of high explosive, well not a little bit, but quite a bit of high explosive on there. to send the energy straight down and it will sympathetically detonate the TNT charge and also the grenade. Well, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. For it. I'm, not, I'm not batting too well on my predictions for it. So it's going to make a big boom. Shape charge is set. So this is the same thing. There's a wire running way back to where we are and we will detonate it with the push of a button. Three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that one shook me. <laughs> Here's where it was. Um, you can see there's just pieces of metal that look like this everywhere. So you can see how fast it just ripped all that apart. Uh, overall, the microwave's gone. Just, just these things left. We are going to pile up all the broken microwave bits in one big pile and light a thermite grenade on it. And that is actually gonna be the last thing we do today. Yep. Yeah, we should've got the thermal camera out. Whoa! It's like welding. Oh yeah, that looks like it wouldn't feel good to get that on you. <laughs> okay, now we know what grenades will and will not go off in a microwave. So we answered your question. You're welcome, internet. 
let us know what else you want us to find out. Uh, they can be equally as stupid as will a grenade go off in a microwave. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby? I'm a doctor. Ish.